Hello, Namaskar, good afternoon. It's Sunday the 10th. It's around um, quarter 7, 6 45 p.m. Just want to bring to your notice an issue. I'm not, I don't want to be a complaining type, you know, because I'm kind of getting the reputation of being a local critic and not an Andy Rooney, the local Andy Rooney. Seems like nobody's speaking out, so I have to talk and I'm getting a reputation building all around me. But now I'm going to talk about rice here, buying rice in Guyana. Buying rice. Our, our rice that we buy here is such that you have to, what we say, uh, pick the rice. You have to clean it. And between the two of us, we would use like one of this cup. This would carry us like maybe for three meals. We cook one time. The problem with this rice is that today I start at four o'clock and I finish six o'clock. I'm picking and picking all the little dirty stuff. I think the standard is very poor, you know. Even if you, I, we, tr we change our rice. We were buying Alicia or Alicia rice before and then we changed to this rice. It's Caribbean, Caribbean rice. The first couple of times I, we bought, it was okay. You got, you could few in 5, 15, 20 minutes it pick clean. But after you buy about 5, 6 time, you find the rice start picking up a lot of dirt, taking a long time to put in. I don't know why so much picking, you know, this is to train you to be a soldier or something when you have to sit down for 2 hours. This one of these cups here take about 2 hours to pick, 2 hours. I start today at 4 o'clock. I fill the pot with water three quarter to pick at quarter past six six ten ten past six i went got to stop picking because it's time two hours pass i'm gonna check the pot the water gone down quarter the pot so i have to fill up with water again that's two hour wasting gas and then sometimes you could not pick your rice in 20 minutes and throw it in there my brother told me it's a waste but the same thing is not only now like one time you know that's what i'm saying out you know people are proud this is a local company rice People are proud they're opening their own industry, they're becoming independent. But if you have all these staff and they're not doing a job to produce quality grains so that you could get quality, you know, not picking so much rotten rice, all kind of wastes in here. All these staff, they should, they should find some technology and means to clean this rice. Because in other places of the world, you find rices are clean, but when you got the rice like this, you have nothing else to do, just focusing on rice all the time. Apparently the owners want the guidance, people develop patience, endurance, concentration and this kind of thing. But we have a lot of other things to do, you know, in your life. You have a lot of work. By the time the day finish, you don't get to do everything. So we can do it all this kind of two hours picking of rice and all these pickings. I mean, if you're gonna raise your rice price and you're gonna increase cost of living for food, at least make sure that the standard is good, you know? You get good picking and good, not that you buy your rice and you have to take two hours to pick rice, so by the time you're ready to chop your greens and everything from four o'clock, it's nine o'clock you're eating dinner in the night. Five hours alone for cooking. I mean, it's nice that we have our own little industry going, we make our own black pepper, we pack it our jira or curry powder with and our oil and chow ming and this but if not good standard you know i mean it's it's can be really trying on your patient i mean this brings you back long ago in the 80s 90s when in the night you have to wake up all night to pick rice for next morning and so Anyway, I just thought I would talk open it not become too much of a critic. Nobody's speaking out, nobody's saying it. Just me alone, I have to say everything. Okay, have a pleasant night. Good night.